Okay, so when you go back into Webmaster's Tools after your website has been uh, finally crawled and Google has enough data, you'll see it here in your dashboard. So I'm just going to go to the domain you're on right now, Outcare Your Competition, and just walk you through a lot of the benefits that I listed. So the first thing comes up, you can see your crawl errors, uh, your search queries, how often your you know, website shows up, how many times it's impressed upon other people and how many people click through. Um, but you can uh, do all that through here. So the first thing you look at is site messages. This will be alert if you got any issues. Right now I got nothing, which is nice. First thing you can see is search appearance. And structured data is something I'll get into a little bit later on. It's a little more advanced SEO. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Um, you'll notice that my computer is loading quite slow because I have an uploaded uh, video going to YouTube. Um, but yeah, we'll get into this a little bit later. I will go over this data highlighter right now though. So if you're a local business and you're trying to just target your local area, I highly suggest going into the data highlighter portion of this. I've uh, published my business as a local business. And what you can do is you go and start highlighting. Let's say you want to take your you know, main domain. You want to go to the main page. So you put that in here. What type of information you want to highlight? We'll go local business. Or if you're, you know, if you're a restaurant owner, you can do a restaurant. Uh, if you got an event going on, you can do an event for the specific page it's on. But for right now, I'm just going to tag this page. Or I guess it won't let me do that because I've already done it. Oh, no, I haven't selected the local business. It's all right. So we're going to go back, get rid of that. So we're going to do my main domain, tag it as a local business, hit OK. And what's going to happen is you'll see a preview of the main page of your website. And if you have, first thing you need to have on the main page of your website, not only for Google but for your visitors, is your address, your phone number, and uh, any other important details, contact details for this local business thing to work to so the data highlighter. So it's just generating a preview of your main page. So what you can start to do is you can go in here. So you can go to name. So what I did is I put all my information down in the footer of my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go Meaningful Marketing and highlight it and then click Name. And then it shows up over here. Now I'm going to get rid of that comma there. Eventually. There we go. So we're going to go try that again. No, we don't want to do that. So Meaningful Marketing, Name. I don't have my address listed on here. I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, we want our telephone number. Or I guess I could just do my address as Come on now. There we go. That's loaded as my address and then obviously my telephone number. And that's going to go telephone. Now what you're going to do is you've got any other important details, opening hours, which is kind of nice to have that on your website. Uh, list that and then hit publish. It'll take about a day to happen, but I'm going to hit cancel since I've already done this. But yeah, it's just a nice way to tell Google at your local business, so you'll probably show up on a lot more local searches. Uh, then going through again, HTML improvements. This is a nice way to tell you if you've got any HTML structure issues. I got a couple errors here, duplicate title tags, so the, the meta tags, the meta title tags of my website, and also the meta descriptions. Uh, I don't know exactly what the issues are. I don't think they're that important right now. I guess there's a couple errors with uh, pages. There's one just has a slash afterwards. Not that important, but uh, you'll find out if you got any issues. I don't think these are that important. Site links. That's just an interesting thing to look at. Um, my website doesn't have site links set up right now, but if someone searches your brand, so I'm going to use my other clients here, Victoria, Transmission, and Auto Care. If you Google their brand, what you're going to get is their, their main website, but also you're going to get these little site links here. So if people just want to find out you know, the services offered, they can just click on that. They don't have to go through here. So what you can do is you can Google your own brand and see if you have these site links and see if those site links make sense. You know, for example, you probably want a contact page so people can find your address, 
whatever services um, or products you offer and any other sort of important information. So take a look at what you have and if you have a page there you don't think is useful you can actually uh, suggest that um, Google not use that. So you know if you wanted to have a page like you know um, whatever it is you don't want people to you don't want that to show up in the site line just put it there and then hit demote and then you're good to go so that's a, again a nice way to just make it easy for people to find out instead of going to your main domain find out what services you offer so they can just click on that and they're gonna to go to your services offered page but again if you don't want any pages to show up there you can just demote them so next one going into search traffic this is kinda of cool you can see how many times and where your website shows up in specific searches so I've been getting a lot of people to my website for my Google Places uh, blog posts. I did one how to optimize and then how to get more reviews and uh, I get quite a few clicks through that. Just the impressions alone 700 people are seeing my website and only 16 click through which is not a great click through rate. Um, more importantly I'm looking at SEO Victoria BC and I did a blog post about two or three months ago detailing how far I was behind in the rankings. I was like number 15. Now I'm showing up in the average position of basically three or four. So and SEO Victoria, I'm showing up in, in the, the second and third place, which is nice. Uh, I added even a Web Design Victoria, and well, 89, I guess, is nothing to brag about. But it's just a nice way to see how often people are searching a specific term, how many times they click through your website, if they are going to go, and then also the click through rate, and then where you show up, which is kind of nice. So you can actually adjust this to see where your best rankings are. So, you know, how to get Google reviews on Google Places. Well, it's no wonder why I'm getting a few people to my site by that. I did a blog post a while and a Guinness Guide to Oysters advertisement. That's kind of nice to show up there. Obviously, you want to show up in the first place for your brand name. Um, but yeah, just a, it's a nice way to see what's going on and see what kind of improvements you get. Links to your site. This is the important one. I uh, put a link to a blog post on backlinking at the, uh, and a couple pages or a couple paragraphs above and this is where backlinking comes in handy which I call the HGH to SEO this is where you're gonna really improve and accelerate your rankings by getting other popular sites to rank back into yours so you can see where you're getting links from and most of the ones I do are blog commenting, commenting. Uh, the sales line is Marcus Sheridan I've talked about him if you're not following him follow him now Ryan Hanley as well he's an insurance broker but also doing some marketing stuff on the side uh, and most of these are pretty much you know, found locally as just a local directory, which is in my Google Places review, why you need citations. Uh, and then, yeah, just a bunch of other websites. I got uh, a few links here and there. Main, my main links come from the Connie Kalanetics page. I have my link back to the, the, my website in their footer. So if they have a page, uh, it's gonna be on every page. So yeah, if they have like 220 pages, my link's gonna show up on all 220 of those pages. Same with Peerless Golf, that's a site I own. Uh, Cordova Bay Golf Lessons, I did the web design for them. My name, uh, my blog post is in the footer, or sorry, my link back to my site's in my footer. So anytime they put a page on, you get another backlink. Not the greatest way to get backlinks, but I mean, overall, I'm doing quite well in the local search rankings for Victoria SEO, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice way to see where your links are coming from and what improvements you need to make. So good way to find out about that. Internal links. Internal linking is important within your own website. You know, you want to have links going all over the place. A, to keep people on your website for longer, but also, you know, it's, it's link juice as well. If you've got a nice page that ranks well, you want to link off from that page to other pages on your website for Google um, when they crawl your site. So you can see I've got quite a few pages linking through. I try to throw about three or four links in each blog post back to other blog posts. So yeah, just a nice way to find out what's going on. Uh, Google indexing, this is just where you can find out how many pages you have indexed. Right now I've got 65, about 35 of those are blog posts and 30 of those are just regular pages. But more importantly, you want more web pages and that's why I talk about blogging and content marketing. The more pages you have, Google deems your site as credible and trying to rank better and trying to do the things which uh, they like, which is creating more fresh content. The more pages you have, the more they like your website. So keep content blogging or whatever you want to do to create web pages. It's very important. You can do you know frequently asked questions. You can do a blog post on that, which is what the, the guys over at Victoria Transmission Auto Care are doing now. They've got a blog up and running. 
we're only doing weekly blogs, but you just keep adding pages to your website. And the more and more pages you get, Google's going to look at that as saying, hey, these guys are doing fresh content. That's awesome. We want their site to rank higher. Content keywords. I find this not to be all that accurate uh, for a few reasons because a lot of the a lot of the keywords I'm telling my um, SEO plugin to rank for, they don't show up here. A lot of these are just regular search terms, which I don't like, so I don't really look at this too much. Remove URLs. If you got a URL that you've taken down and or maybe you know you've created a page and now you've deleted it, make sure you put it in here because you want to uh, make sure that it doesn't show up in the crawl stats and crawl errors. which is what I'm going to roll into next. Once again, I'm uploading a video here to YouTube, so that's why we're behind. So, soft errors, one, uh, WP Admin, Ajax, that's just a PHP page for my WordPress stuff. I don't know why that shows up there. Not found. Um, these are a couple pages I deleted, so I should probably go in and take these out in the remove URLs. Um, back in the Google index so that's what I'll do after this video crawl stats this will tell you how often Google's crawling your site and how many pages are crawling each day so pages crawled per day 399 that seems kinda weird on one day average though they average about 85 I don't even have that many pages but I guess at the end of it by the time I have all these WordPress tag pages and category pages it could show up to be a lot more uh, I don't know I don't really look at this as much uh, very important Let's say you just updated a page and you want Google to crawl it right away. You can tell Google that, hey, go fetch that page right now. So if you do a blog post and you want it to rank fairly quick, you can plug it in here and hit fetch. And then also, obviously, you want to update that and post it to your Google Plus page. Blocked URLs. I don't really know much about this. Uh, oh, this is if you want to block certain pages from them showing up. I guess that's kind of like a remove URL. The sitemaps. <laughs> This is where you can test your sitemap. I have a, a plugin called uh, XML Sitemap, and what happens? I just can tell Google how often I want my website crawled and how often I want it submitted. So I get, you know, like blog posts. I ask Google to crawl those basically once every week. Uh, my main page, because I don't update it that much, I get them update that or crawl that once a month. Uh, so you can just kind of submit that off and it'll uh, come to your website and take a look at what's going on. You can submit uh, things and get pages indexed. So I got 56 pages indexed. URL parameters, I don't take a look at that. Now we're getting pretty long into this video. I'll try to speed it up here. Malware, you just click on that. It'll tell you, you know, if you got any malware up on your website, you would see receive an email right away to your whatever Google email address that's tied to your account saying hey you've got malware on your site which I actually had happen to a client site about seven or eight months ago and uh, you gotta find out the best way to remove that it's a nice way to do that additional tools uh, I'm not gonna get too much into this as this is more advanced SEO your Google places hopefully you got a page for that and Google Labs uh, author stats I'm gonna get into that this is where you can tell uh, if you're a Google user you can have your photo show up beside your search ranking. So when yeah, this is what if you have your author page and your Google account tied to your website, you can have this little thing here. And I actually had a lead click on my site a couple months ago saying, Hey, you know, the reason I clicked on your site was because there was a picture and I asked him, Well, why is that? He goes, Well, you just seemed a little bit more trustworthy since you have that picture. So that's feedback right there from someone who clicked on my website. And I'm gonna be going over that and probably you know once I finish up this tutorial on the 10 best free internet marketing tools on how you can set that up uh, and have that uh, little photo of yours show up uh, in the search rankings and then uh, I don't think there's really much else in the labs that we can go over author stats yeah we already got that or if you have a Google places business page you can have that tied into your website as well which is kinda nice and again try to do whatever you can to get on Google but for the most part, that's pretty much it with Webmaster Tools. So there's a lot of benefits here, and that's why I obviously put it number two of my top ten uh, 
free marketing, internet marketing tools, and that's why I think you use it. If you have it set up and you don't check it, try checking it more often because you're going to uh, learn a lot about your website and what you can improve upon. Oh, and there was one other thing I wanted to talk about too, which is should be back in the labs, which is uh, your site speed. You can find out how fast your website is loading for people. Um, but I'm actually going to be showing you another tool down the road here in my video series on a, a, a site that uh, can tell you how fast your website loads. And quickly, if your website is loading fast, Google likes that because you know when people click on a website, they want to see that website load within a couple seconds. So Google likes it when you have a fast loading website. If you don't, they're going to deem your website as very slow and uh, most people are going to be annoyed by that. So if it takes maybe 8 to 15 seconds for your website to load, they're going to knock you down the rankings because you know someone who lands on your site and is there for 8 to 15 seconds waiting for a load is just going to bounce off. So the bounce rate is going to hurt you there and they're going to uh, demote your website in those search rankings. So site speed is something I'll talk about again later on. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, post a comment, send me an email, whatever it is. Get in touch and I'll answer your questions. So uh, thank you very much for tuning us to this longer video than I expected.